everybody. My name is Sophie with Groundwork Ohio River Valley. Uh, this week on Restoration at Home, we're talking about reintroducing native species and how you can get a seed kit delivered right to your door. Let's get started. So the first step in the environmental restoration process is the removal of invasive species such as bush honeysuckle. Tanner talked about that a couple weeks ago in the first episode of Restoration at Home. So if you'd like more information on how to do that safely, check that out. Let's talk about what we do once the invasive species are gone. As you can see, I have removed the invasive species from my parents' backyard. The bush honeysuckle prevented the growth of good herbaceous ground cover, which is why there is nothing but bare soil here. So now it's time to regrow with native species. The native species will help to hold the soil in and prevent erosion, as well as support our local pollinator friends like bumblebees, butterflies, and hummingbirds, as well as prevent the return and further encroachment of invasive species. So now we can reseed by simply casting out seeds, um, planting them like you would regular seeds, but the best way would be to start them inside with our native seed kit, which will prevent loss of seeds from being washed away or eaten by critters. All right, here we have our native seed mix. Let's see what's inside. Biodegradable seed pots, just enough soil, and our native seed mix. The seeds in this mix were hand collected and processed by our green core. We have selected a wide variety of species, including coneflowers, milkweed, and butterfly weeds. You might know milkweeds as the plant that monarch butterflies are dependent on for their entire life cycle. So by planting this, you can directly support their resurgence. We have packaged these kits with consideration of the pandemic, using facial masks and gloves at every step of the process. Now, let's put this thing together. Okay, I have unpacked my seed kit, and all I've had to provide is water, and this tray. The tray is because the seed pods have holes in them to allow excess water to drain out. The tray keeps us from making a mess. So, first step is to add potting soil. Now we're not gonna add too much. We wanna leave um, some room for the seeds and then another thin layer of soil. Add the seeds. Just portion them out over the pods. Okay, and then add another layer of soil. All right. So the next step is watering. It helps if you have a watering can because you don't want to water too fast or else you will uh, compact the soil and not allow water to drain out, which will drown the seeds. Um, so I don't have a watering can, so I made uh, an impromptu watering can by poking holes in the bottom of a plastic cup. Let's give it a shot. All right. Once the water starts draining out, you'll know you've watered enough. The final step is to put it in a sunny window. I have a beautiful south-facing window that I will put mine in between. In no time, you'll have beautiful native flowering species growing in your own home. The seeds will need to be watered two to three times a week or when the top of the soil gets dry. To sign up for a contact free delivery of your seed kit, go to groundworkorv.org and click on the banner at the top. While we would love to give away these seed kits for free, we would appreciate a small donation to help cover the cost of materials. Even if you don't have a yard, you can still participate. We will be hosting a planting event in the near future, so keep an eye on our Facebook and Instagram page. My name is Sophie with Groundwork Ohio River Valley. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Restoration at Home. Be safe out there.